until I finish this coffee. <sighs> coffee is crack. It is the legal form of crack. Kitchen ASMR. Ooh. Hey, it's Sunday. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today, today we're going to be doing a little collective kitchen and home goods haul of all these little items that I've been buying and still haven't unpackaged yet. Let's just get right into it. So the theme in my house is kind of like this greens, browns, black, white, and in my kitchen I also have gray. So those are kind of the colors that I was looking for and I really, really love wooden items. I just think they look so cool, especially with plants. I love plants. I just love nature. If I could live in the forest without getting eaten by mosquitoes, I would. And they ain't got no toilet. See, I need toilet paper, I need a toilet. Why are we talking about So as a lot of you guys may know, I've recently decided to like redecorate my house and just try and make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, I wanted to move but the Rona and everything else didn't want me to move. Over these past few months, I've been on the hunt for really cool pieces and they kind of just like accumulated into this pile. I have stuff from Amazon, thrift stores, the 99 cent store, random stores in Japan. And I have a lot of items that I got from Kyoto. If you guys watched my Kyoto vlogs, I went to Kyoto and like I was on the hunt for some kitchen goods. If I can link anything, I will, but I am over here in Tokyo, so some of these items are only available over here. But for the stuff that I did get online, I'll try and link it down below for you. So, let's start off with Amazon. Starting with this cup. <laughs> this is just such an aesthetic cup, and I couldn't even wait to use it. I already started using it. It's like this thin glass, and it has this cute handle. I absolutely love the shape. It's very unique. I'm kind of sad that I only got one. I should've got more than one, because I'm loving this. Next, I got this food scale. Um, I am dieting right now, and portion control in the past was very easy for me, but now I just want to make sure that I'm having the right portion sizes when I'm eating, just to kind of keep track of my macros a little bit better than I've been doing recently, because it's a little bit more important now. I don't know how much this was, but definitely under 20 bucks. And I got it in white. I wanted a white one. Um, my kitchen is not that big, so I wanted something kind of small that would be able to fit on the countertops. Once you actually start tracking macros, you're going to be so surprised at like how much you're overeating. I remember the first time I was doing this, I was just like, dang, that's like 12 people worth of food. This is a good reality check. This next item I am definitely the most excited about. Take it out of the packaging. <sighs> I feel old that I'm that excited about a trash bin. It ain't just any old trash bin though. Hold on, hold on. That just wasn't as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Let me try again, wait. Stop, I'm trying to make a point. What is this? Did they give me trash bags? How nice! Okay, I'm doing this wrong somehow. Come on, don't make me look bad. This is not any trash bin. As you guys know, I cook a lot. The biggest mess, other than the dishes, is like when I'm chopping food and I try and like throw it in the trash can and I usually have like a little plastic bag on the floor while I'm cooking and I just kind of like toss it off of the counter and drops into the bag and sometimes it makes it into the bag, sometimes it's all over the floor. It basically just hooks onto the cabinet and then while you're cutting and like cooking, you can just scrape things right into here. It's like a little portable trash bin. It, this thing is amazing and the best part is it's collapsible. So when you're not using it, you can just store it right here on the side of your cabinet and it's not like looking bulky and crazy. That is actually it for the Amazon stuff. Next, let's get into the stuff from Ikea. I went there just to get a cutting board, but do we ever just go and get one thing or just get what we said we was gonna get? That just doesn't happen. Starting off with these. I don't know if you guys saw in my kitchen, but I actually have a whole bunch of these that store like my nuts and my seeds. I really love these containers. So they look like this. Why does it look crusty? I'm so mad because this entire pack was, I think, $2. You get four of them. The ones that are on my counter, I got from the 99 cent store and I paid a dollar each. So this was a really good deal. Not so exciting, but I got some sponges. These are the most aesthetic looking sponges I done ever seen. As I said, the color of my kitchen has gray and these are like gray and white. I just love these because they're not that like nasty green yellow sponge that you usually see. Like, yes, these are so cute. Next. Don't, don't break anything. Look how gorgeous this is. I recently bought a coffee machine, but I actually like like iced coffees in the summer. So I thought I'd get this to store the coffee in and then like put it in the fridge. That way I can have like cold iced coffee in the morning. It is glass and it has like this cork top. Oh, I just love this. It's so cute. I don't know what to call this. 
stainless steel thing? I got this thing. I don't know what this is or what it's supposed to be used for, but I plan on using it to hold all of my utensils. I love the size. It's very big. It can definitely hold like the big spoons that I just got. So, yes. Next. The thing I actually went to the store for. I got this gigantic wooden cutting board. I said I would never be one of these people, but here I am. This is more for the aesthetic because I personally rather cut on like, like a white plastic cutting board. Wood gets all those little chips and dings in it and I, I hate washing the wood. It, I don't know. But it looks good. So I'm gonna throw this on my countertop. I don't know, I'm gonna try and use it, see, see how it goes. You know, if it's annoying, I'm going back to my plastic cutting board. But it looks good. Also from Ikea, I got two rugs. This white one, which I plan on using as like a little bath rug. It is like really, really soft, but this is probably the dumbest thing that I bought because it's just white and I know it's gonna be brown in like 2.5 seconds. And I got this gray rug, a lot more practical. I have a similar gray rug in the kitchen right now that is like right in front of the stove. My feet will start to hurt if I'm standing there for too long. So I really like to have like a soft rug. I can't even fit it in the frame y'all. It's, it's long, okay. And that is it for Ikea. Next I'll show you all the stuff that I got from the thrift store and the 99 cent store and then like just random stores in Japan. From the 99 cent store. <sighs> Look at these cups. These were a dollar each. So, so freaking cute. I got, <coughs> excuse me, it's not Corona. I got four of these, already broke one. Are we surprised? No. And I also got matching bowls. Also, these were just a dollar. Look at these. These are adorable. They look like, I don't know, stone or something. I just love these. These are so cute. Looking fancy from the dollar store. Balling on the budget. I got both of these from the dollar store as well. They're like little oil dispensers. Um, I was planning on making like some infused olive oil with like chilies and garlic. I got these from the local home store here in Japan. It's literally called home. I got these cups for 50 cents, which is even less than 50 cents because it's 50 yen. I thought these would be really good vases for some of my plants while they're like growing and just starting off. 50 cents. 50 cents. What happened to 50 cents? Is he still around? Could find me in the club. That's probably why he gone, because I don't know what he was talking about. I also got this wooden plate from the home store. It was $5, and $5 is a lot of money. So yeah, I only got one. Super angry because I love this plate so, so much, and I want to go get more. It just makes all of your food photography look all, like, aesthetic and beautiful, and it just it looks like you got your life together when your eggs is on a wooden plate. Next, Shein. I'm ashamed to say I bought this. I feel like a grandma. Do girls in their 20s actually still buy this? I thought it was cute. I don't even know what to call this. Um, it's like a little crochet. It's not crochet. What do you call this thing? Definitely, definitely the worst thing out of everything. They're not even like white. They're like this nasty off-white that I don't, well, I don't know. I'm not feeling these. The sad part is they actually look good on camera. These look even cheaper than they were. I don't know what to do with them. I think I'm just gonna use them at a baseball game. Now, from the thrift store. So I got these wooden bowls. There are four of them and I got them for $4.80. Honestly, I think I might just keep them in this little container because I really like it. Again, looks like I have my life together. I don't. I thought these would be really amazing for like smoothie bowls and stuff like that. My family, I think, is coming in like November and every time they come, I have to cook breakfast. When I cook, I like to make things look pretty, so I thought these would be really great for some smoothie bowls in the morning. Y'all, I be coming up. Super excited about this one. Um, Actually, my friend Ash actually found this for me. He went to the same thrift store that I got the bowls. He remembered that I've been looking for a spice rack for a really long time and he said he saw this and I think it was only a dollar or two dollars. Look how amazing this is. It's so well made very sturdy got these from the thrift store as well just like these really thick cute wooden spoons and i'm gonna use these for like tossing salad i guess there's this one thing i've always been impressed with and that is when i walk into somebody's house and they have their dishes on display i've said that wrong they have their dishes on display and they're not reused ragu jars people have like really pretty plates all on display in their house i just be like dang you really got your life together that's what i want okay that's what i want for myself my cabinets are actually made of glass and you can like see right through them. So I kind of want the dishes in there to look right. I got these white plates from the thrift store. These, as you can see, I got 280, six plates. Just like some really classic, nice white plates. Also from the thrift store, this beautiful basket. I just want y'all to guess, like how much do you think this basket costs? What was that? $20, $30. This mug was $3. Oh my God, I love, love me some baskets, okay? Why are they so overpriced? I don't know, it must be the African in me, but your girl, bruh. I got so much respect for my people, cause this ain't easy. Why are baskets so overpriced? Someone let me know, 
please. This next item was actually sent to me. It's from Hideko Crystal Beauty. It's just like this glass drink bottle. Inside there is a crystal and you can pick like which crystal that you want, the color of it. They have like black and purple and pink. I got this clear one because I thought it looked really good. I have not been drinking out of this. I've just been using it as decor on my desk. Next, if you watched one of my recent vlogs, you would have saw that I recently came up on some bowls and plates. <laughs> So I got these from like a local vendor that like sets up shop outside the grocery store from time to time. They sell like handcrafted plates and bowls and stuff. And I bought one of these a couple of months ago, like so many months ago. So glad I found them again. So here's one of the bowls. I love this. I also got a matching plate. The plate was $8.80 and the bowl was $13.80. It's really expensive in my opinion, especially for just one item. And then from that same vendor, I got these two plates, which are so so gorgeous. I cannot wait to make y'all some aesthetic looking food with these. It just doesn't even look cute at all on camera. These were only $3.80 and I think that is so worth it for such a unique plate and I got two of those. So I think I'm good on the dishes. Like Sunday, don't buy any more dishes. This thing I got off of AliExpress. Took 65 years to get here. It's that pompous grass stuff are supposed to be. Let's see, because y'all know how AliExpress be. It takes 9,000 years to get to you, and when it does get to you, it's rather the wrong product, wrong color, or it just don't look nothing like the picture. Okay. It's like literally falling, crumbling in front of me. This... Ooh. I hope that bend goes away. Ooh. Ooh. This is... It got in my coffee. I'm not really feeling this at all. Ooh, it's shedding every... No. It was... Oh, no. Okay. <sighs> oh, let's just put these two no's in like the no pile. This is the no pile. Boom. It looks cute, but I promise y'all like this is... <laughs> it's shedding everywhere. <laughs> and this is plastic AF. Next, from AliExpress. It's one of those little baskets that you can put plants in or anything that you want. They had different colors. They had like the base in white and I think black and some other kind of brown. I got this plant from the home store as well and I've already been like growing out the leaves. I wanted it for this. It fits! How adorable! Okay, AliExpress, you done redeemed yourself. Look at you getting your points back. Y'all had me messed up for a hot minute with that little fuzzies you tried to sell me. Last but not least, all the stuff and souvenirs that I got from Kyoto. Oh my god. Okay. Like, can y'all believe we ain't done? I don't remember what I bought at all. I haven't touched any of this stuff. It's all still in the packaging. I haven't opened anything. First, my pompoko. In Japan, they're said to have like magical powers. Um, there's a lot of powers in the um uh, <laughs> the ball area. They can like fly with their balls and all kind of stuff. One of my favorite animation movies is called Pompoko. That's why I keep calling these things Pompoko. Tanuki are raccoons in Japan. They look a little different though. Pompoko is about some tanuki living in the forest in Japan. Their forest is being taken over by humans and they start to like do construction and ruin their home and they're trying to like fight against that. It's a really good movie, y'all. I highly recommend. I got this little brass sculpture outside of Fushimi Inari, which is that like famous place for all the shrine gates. If I want like a brass one like this or like the painted porcelain one like this. This is so hard. I also got this green cat sculpture from a different shop. I think I'm also gonna get this little cat statue. He's green. This is so dang cute. I just had to have it. I went back and got it. I think it was like $10 or so. Has nothing to do with the kitchen. <laughs> this is one of the souvenirs that I bought for myself. Got this cute little cat purse. I thought this would be nice for like some coins or some makeup or something. I got this on the way to Kiyomi Zudera. Like there's so many shops outside of that dang place. Oh my God. Oh yeah! Caring for green bamboo. If stored still in a humid warm location, mold may develop. That's not good. Got this in Arashiyama. It is a bamboo cup. I thought it was really unique with this like marking right here. Made out of real bamboo from the actual forest in Arashiyama. I plan on using it as like a little holder for all of my utensils as well. I don't even know what this is. Sunday. All right, I got this little placemat, which is also made from actual bamboo from Arashiyama. I don't really know why I bought this. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, like, did you really need this? Has this like unique cut here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I also got these in Arashiyama and I love how it has this little loop. So I feel like I can hang these on the wall and use them as like decor pieces as well. That is so cute. And then I got two of these other ones which have like a lighter wood color. Again with the baskets. I got this.
this basket from Arashiyama as well. Not that big, it's kind of small actually. It has like this little rope around it, which I need to tie in a better way. All of these items I got from a store that was on the way to Arashiyama. First thing is this bamboo whisk. So cool, I don't actually think I'm gonna use this for cooking. I think I'm literally just gonna use this as decor. As a lot of you guys may know, when I went to Kyoto, like my number one goal was finding some wooden spoons. So I finally found some and I got these. So this probably isn't that exciting, but it's exciting for me, okay? Definitely will be cooking with these. I actually bought some wooden spoons from Kyoto like a couple years ago and I still have them. They're such good quality. So I had to come back and get some more. Yes. Placemat? What do you call these? Cup holder? Really cute. And I got these like little salt and pepper shakers. Wow, these are also made from bamboo. So, so unique. So you just put like whatever spices that you want in here. Freaking love these. I think these are so unique. And then when like people ask like, ooh, pass the salt and you like, you gonna look fancy. This next one, oh my God. Definitely the most expensive thing out of everything. It is just a bowl. So I got this on the way to Arashiyama as well. This bowl is like a tamba pottery, handmade in the quiet village of Tachikui for centuries. If you come to Kyoto and you don't go home with some like bomb pottery, like what did you do? Probably had a good time. I don't know. I'll probably put like some fruit in there and put it on the counter. Another bamboo cup. Um, This one, again, I'm planning on just using for utensils probably. Maybe smaller utensils because it's not that big. I got these next two things along the philosopher's path. So I got some really beautiful chopsticks. It is so hard to tell, but these are an amazing size. And I got this other chopstick set, which comes with a little carrying case. And there's like a cat design on there. Lastly, <laughs> this was petty. I got this 2020 Tokyo Olympics pin. Yeah, it was $5 and I just, I wanted some kind of souvenir that said Tokyo 2020 Olympics on it since it's not actually happening. I don't know, it might be worth money in the future, who knows? And finally, the item that I always get when I travel, postcards, which also have nothing to do with the kitchen. Um, I got this one of Kiyomizu. This beautiful one is literally a picture of where I got a lot of this stuff. This is a picture of the shops that are all along the way to Kiyomizudera. I love shopping in that area, it's just so beautiful. All right, so that is everything that I got. I made a huge mess and I can finally start to put this stuff away. As I said, if you're interested, I'll try and link some of these things, but a lot of these things obviously I got here in Japan, so come, come to Japan. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps my channel. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Still ain't finished this coffee.